YouTube, what's going on? I must apologize for my long absence. However, I am back, so YouTubers rejoice. Yay. I love how much rejoicing took place just then. But enough rejoicing, please. Hold your applause. Uh, so, the year-end review of the real-life vlog. Ah, uh, failed promises and failed attempts at projects. Ah, uh, plague me, my friends, plague me. However, nothing has changed. My plans are still there. My goals are still there. However, my friends, time is not there. Not only that, but also things have changed. So let me tell you the year-end review. Well, as you all know, earlier this year, me and several fellow friends and colleagues of the sort were planning a bit of a movie, a cinematic adventure, starring yours truly. However, plans have changed and been altered. Uh, they have not been cancelled, however. I decided, instead of starting for a full-length feature film, I decided on a more of a short film, if you will. A short rendition of a cinematic adventure. Um, something to get my feet wet, and well, for us to get our feet wet, and to explore the prospects that be. Um, so anyway, so that's kind of what I've been doing over the summer. Um, the summer yielded some quite busy moments, because we were supposed to be filming this glorious cinematic adventure. However, that did not happen, mostly in part due to the fact that the plans have changed. Um, because we have the story written out on paper, just nothing, well, filmed yet. Um, but things will continue as planned, except for a full-length movie, we are doing a short cinematic adventure. Now let's kick it up in a couple, uh, a couple of months prior to the summer. So we are, not uh, prior, excuse me, after the summer. So let's kick it up a few months to about August-ish. I was transferred over from U of M Dearborn to Eastern Michigan University in Ypsilanti. I am so excited to be starting there. Um, because I love the school, I love the campus, I love the teachers, and I absolutely love the counselors. The counselors at U of M were trying to get me to do one thing or another, because they were like, oh, you know, it's like, and I tell them, I go up there and I tell them, I want to be a teacher. What do I need to do? They try shoving down my throat, automotive. They says, well, you could do that, or we have one, we, we have a great, um, we have a great automotive program. I said, I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in automotive. I want to be a teacher. I'm interested in teaching. I said, well, you could do that, but we also have one, we also have one hell of an um, um, engineering program. I was like, um, no thanks. <laughs> so that's kind of what I've been doing. I've been transferring over from one school to another. Finally got that done over with in August. Kick it up another month, whatever August springs, September or something like that. So September comes around, rears its ugly little head, and I start school. Busy, busy, busy. And not only school did I start, but I also started back at work. I was so excited, and I was so happy to be teaching at my old elementary school, which is quite exciting. Um, I got a great class this year. I'm quite excited for that. I got an outstanding um, group of parents and an outstanding teacher I'm working with. So I'm extremely excited about that. Um, what else do I want to talk about in September? Absolutely nothing. Nothing else happened in September. Besides, I started work in school. October comes around, and it fairly, I'm doing fairly well in school. Still busy, as you may imagine. October, what's after October? I want to say February, but you know what comes after October. I can't think of it right now. Brain fart. <laughs> out of my mind. So anyway, so that's kind of what I've been dealing with, is busy, busy school. Well, now I'm going into the next month of November. Haha, <laughs> see, I told you to come back to me. I'm back in, now we're in November, and so I'm busy doing one thing or another. Thanksgiving, of course, comes around. Thanksgiving break. 
And of course, another big thing happened. Uh, there was a big law being passed here in Michigan called Right to Work. And of course, I'm a union member with my local American Federation of Teachers Union. A uh, proud member, by the way. And of course, um, mostly because I've worked non-union. I've gotten ripped off and wrongfully terminated. It was a long story short. Messed up junk happened. So I got treated very unfairly. So now I'm very proud to be part of my union. I mean, I don't get many benefits, but I'm not there for the benefits. I want job security and good pay and fair pay. That's all I can ever ask for, and that's exactly what I'm getting. Um, however, uh, there's a big law being passed to try and break unions called right to work. Many people think, well, what's wrong with that? Absolutely nothing. If it was, if it was designed the way it's supposed to. It pretty much, the, the, the big thing that conservatives are pushing is that this does not force people to join a union, where otherwise, if people want, want to work in a union shop, they have to be in members of the union. But the fact of the matter is, it, it isn't just that simple, and that bothers me. And so, of course, me and other members of my union actually went off to, pro, to protest said law and said legis legislation. And it was quite enjoyable. We were in Lansing for the remainder of the uh, day, for the most of the, for a majority of the day. It was rather enjoyable, rather pleasant. I had a lot of fun. I was interviewed by Fox News. However, the footage was not aired on Fox News because my answer was well thought out and educated and well presented. So, of course, I'm not going to use that because it's Fox News. They don't want to hear it unless it was a crazy rant. So that was that. And then, of course, I got to meet and shake hands with the mayor of Lansing, Verge Monero, and um, Jesse Jackson. That was quite intriguing. Because even during my conservative days, I was a very big supporter of Jesse Jackson and what he was trying to do and push out. Um, and very big supporter of, his, uh, of what he was advocating for. Um, and then, of course, I also got to reach the top of the... Um, uh, not the Capitol building, but the Senate building in Lansing. That was quite enjoyable. Maybe I'll post a picture up and show it to you guys later of that said moment when I got up there. It was quite enjoyable, a lot of fun. Um, I got to meet some really interesting people um, and really enjoyed the atmosphere. It was definitely what um, my great-grandparents have done trying to establish a union here in this state. Um, and, of course, I mean, this is these are all things. Uh, a few things I wanted to do that I couldn't do while I was there was uh, meet and debate Stephen Crowder, of course, because I knew he was there. I, I had a feeling he was there, and I was kind of scoping out, scoping for him so I can get... So I get his input on what he thinks of the law, and also to debate him a little bit, because I knew he wasn't going to support it. I mean, wasn't going to oppose it, so. I want to debate him because I I like some of what he says, but I guess some controversy took place. I'm not going to get into that, but it was interesting. Um, and of course, I have been getting into it in more of a private sector, like here on YouTube, and of course here on um, on my Facebook on my Facebook page. Um, it was intriguing. It's been quite the debate, and I've been enjoying it. I'm having fun because there's people love, like and people who know me know I love to debate, so I find it to be quite enjoyable and quite fun, especially when you know you're going to win. If you know you're going to win, it's really, you know, <laughs> just that much more fun. And I've been kicking butt in these debates. Anyways, continuing on. And another thing I really wanted to do was get arrested for the civil dis uh, disobedience um, protest that took place. The reason I wanted to do that was because, one, I mean, if I'm going to be a bit of a rabble rouser, I might as well go out and go, go to the next extent. However, um, I did not attend the meeting in order to the training in order to do that because if I did it on my own accord I would have to pay my own bail and I don't have money to pay my own bail and I'm not about to go off and force my family to pay my bail so I'm like okay I gotta work in the next mornings <laughs> so I gotta go off and just kind of put that aside and go to the next meeting because if I went to the meeting I would have been able to get my bail, f the union would have been able to pay my bail, so that would pretty cool. But I thought it was a worth, worth worthy cause to, it was a worthy cause, I don't know, worth worthy, wow. <laughs> it was a worthy cause to support and uh, oppose this said law. But I had a lot of fun, met a lot of interesting people, and got to do a lot of interesting things. Continuing, moving on with the year-end review. Well, all the way up to the rest of the semester, I mean, to the rest of the year, um, I was a little disappointed that the world didn't end in the way that it that was supposed to. That was a little disappointing here in December, and that just happened a couple of days ago. I mean, that's kind of like whatever. I'm disappointed only to the fact that it, no chaos was brought out. No interesting stories were able to be told. 
Um, so it was a rather average day. Boring. However, I passed all my classes. I'm excited about that. I got a nice little foothold in over there at uh, Eastern, and I'm looking forward to the next year. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I hope to hear from you all soon. Until next time, ciao.